Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos, I am super excited to unbox and review Fucare's Gemini X30 e-bike. Guys, this is a fat tire bike that will take you all over the place. It will go fast, it will go long, even has a Samsung battery, guys. Let's unbox and get this thing put together. This is not a cheap toy e-bike here, guys. This box weighs 80 pounds, gonna take a little effort to get it out of the box. Let's uh, get the straps off here and I am anxious to see what's inside this thing. Box is open. We got a small box right here. Let's see what's inside. We have of course the owner's manual. You have to have the owner's manual. We have all kinds of tool kits, uh, accessories to put together here and uh, let's see what else is in the smaller boxes. Boom, we have got chargers. We actually have dual chargers because there's two batteries, so we have dual chargers. Open this one up right here. Boom, so two chargers. We've got our tool kit and a bunch of accessories, the tools to put it all together. Let's see what else is in here. Ta-da, here is the bike itself. Uh, oh, I love the color. It's kind of a bluish gray, oh man. I love blue and I love grays. Um, beautiful bike, have the, a rack in the back here. Big old fat tires. Uh, here's your handlebars. We got keys, guys, it has four keys with it. Um, nice little computer screen, controls, big old tire. Let's get all this disassembled. We have all the packing material removed and you see we don't have that many parts to put together. We've got a front fender, we've got a seat, we've got a front tire. Of course, we have the accessory kit um, that has all the, the fasteners to, to put everything together. You can see the bike comes mostly assembled. Here is one battery and there is one battery. You guys got two batteries on this thing, guys. Pedals look very, very nice. The chain is off. We'll have to put the chain on. That's very, very simple. Um, I'm very impressed with this so far. In addition to the tool kit, we've also got a bike lock. Has a key, has a two keys in there, so a bike lock, so no one steals our bike. We got these awesome pedals, which we'll put on just a little bit. Uh, it did come with four battery keys. Now you can lock lock your battery in place, so no one steals it. Uh, four, uh, these are key to like, and they are uh, specific to that battery. Um, We've got caps here the, to cover the little uh, bolts sticking out on the wheels, keep those from getting all messed up. We've got our bracket. This is the uh, handlebar bracket. We'll be putting that on in a minute. And guys, it even comes with some replacement paint. A little bottle of uh, uh, Libra spare paint. <laughs> in case you're getting uh, nicks in, uh, on your uh, Fucare bike, it comes with paint. Take a little closer look at the charger and batteries. Uh, the two chargers are two amp chargers each. Um, they have a little LED right there. When you plug them into the battery, they're red while they're charging. They turn green when they are ready. Uh, takes about four to eight hours to charge uh, your batteries. Again, these are 15 amp hour batteries, 48 volt, charging at the two amp rate. Again, uh, depending on how much you've depleted them, you, know, you usually wanna keep them charged uh, about 75% when you store them, and then you wanna charge them up just before you use the bike up to 100. You get the best life out of your batteries that way. If you deplete them down to 100, it may take up to eight hours to charge it. If you got them down to 50, it may take four hours. But that's, that's typically there, so you got two chargers and two batteries. Now looking at these batteries, guys, eight and a half pounds each. <laughs> these are heavy, heavy batteries. The bike is about 85 pounds, something like that. Um, of course, I think that's with the battery weight, but these batteries are, are very, very heavy. Um, on the side, you've got a, a the, where you lock, use that key to lock it into place on the bike. I'll show you how to put it on and off here shortly. On the side, you've got a little uh, charging indicator. When you turn it on, there's a little switch right here. Click, turn it on, and then you can see, push the little button, and you can see the, the battery charge, fully charged, green lights all the way across. Uh, turn this off when not in use. Um, Right here next to the power switch is also where you charge it. You just plug in your charger, very, very simple. Boom, right there. And uh, very, very nice Samsung battery, 15 amp hour. To assemble your front fender and light, rotate your forks 180 degrees to the brackets facing front. Uh, your brake will be on the, the back left. Take your fender, which was stored by the rear fender, bring it forward, and th there's a bracket right here. Make sure that's facing forward. And uh, the metal black brackets, uh, po uh, face down. Now your light, which is located right here, 
uh, by the handlebars. Light, 10 watt LED light, has a, 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 a siren in it, also a horn, and this is the adjustable mounting bracket for it. Now you're going to use this long bolt and lock nut, which is supplied in the hardware kit, to uh, attach both the fender and the light to this bolt hole right there. Now on the back side of the forks, there are these uh, Allen bolts here. There's one on each side, and they will be used to fasten the, the black brackets in. See, there's a bolt right there, and there's one on this side. So once we attach all this together, we'll have the light assembly and front fender attached to our forks. Once I have all the bolts in, I can use my number 10 box in wrench on the nut. Got my Allen, tighten this up. I'm not gonna tighten everything down all the way until I get everything lined up. Once I get everything lined up, then I'll be able to do the final torque uh, adjustment on all of the bolts. Flip the bike upside down, and once you do, you'll be able to take out this um, shipping spacer bolts right here. that keeps the, the forks from bending in during shipping. There's also a shipping spacer between the brake pads right there. Remove that. Now we're ready to install the front tire. I've already got the nut and washer on each side of the axle loosened up all the way out. And I'm gonna slide it up over the forks. And I got the brake um, disc is on this side. I gotta make sure you have it on the same side as the brake caliper. And I'm gonna slide that disc in between the pads, lining everything up. So let's get everything lined up. Make sure the washer and nut are on the outside. There it's on that side. It should be going through the brake disc, boom. Everything is leveled out. Now I can start to tighten down these uh, nuts. Once I got the nuts just hand tight, I'm gonna make sure everything looks like it's nice and smooth. Now we can tighten these down. Again, they supplied all the tools for this. We got a 15 millimeter uh, wrench right here. Let's uh, tighten these bolt uh, nuts up. Again, just tighten a little bit on each side as you go. You want to make sure you get these tight now, guys. This needs to be torqued down. You do not want your wheel falling off when you're going down the road at, you know, 32 mile an hour. Now, this thing is uh, designed to go about 30 mile an hour, uh, actually 32 mile an hour, 28 uh, limited by the U.S., but I think you can take that back up somehow. You can change the setting there, but uh, this thing is fast. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Woohoo! Wheel is ready. Package did come with caps for our axles for protection. Slide the small one on the front axle right there. There we go. Now we'll get the big one uh, for the back axle nut right there. Get that on. All right, we got two more for the other side. Just like the front fender, we're gonna use the supplied bolts uh, that are in the frame to attach the rear fender. I uh, just gotta slide the bolt through the hole, find the hole there. Where is it at? There it is. Get it tightened up. Again, I'm not going to tighten it down fully until I get the one on the other side in. Get everything lined up, and then I'll be able to adjust the fender right where it needs to be. And uh, tighten this one down now. Boom. Boom. Our fender is ready. Again, while I got it upside down, I'm gonna take advantage and get the pedals installed. Uh, this one says left, and this has a sticker right here, says left pedal, so I know which one goes where. Slide that in, and I do believe they are reverse threaded, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they are reverse threaded, so get that on there, and then it has a 15 millimeter wrench. You'll be able to just tighten these things up right away, so let's get it screwed in there. This, and this is the left, the same thing on the right. Get that, there we go. Now I'll just get my wrench. Again, it's the 15 millimeter. Get that tightened up. Ah! Pedal is done. One last thing I wanna do before I flip the bike back over is put the chain on. Very, very simple. Just wanna set it over the uh, sprocket. Once I get it over the sprocket, I'm just gonna go forward and now it is on, locked in place. Look at that. <laughs> that was simple. Ooh, smooth. Now it's time to assemble our handlebars. We've got this uh, clamp right here, a handlebar clamp. Has the uh, Fucare symbol on it. Make sure the Fucare symbol is facing forward. And just pick up your handlebars. Make sure your cables are all situated on the right side, or the left side, actually, of the bike. 
get the uh, bracket over. Once you get the bracket over, uh, we do have the uh, in the uh, accessories package the bolts that came with the Allen bolts. Just get them. Just get them started. Once you get them started, you'll be able to come back and we'll uh, uh, center it up and tighten it down. We'll get the seat installed. Once we get the seat installed, we'll sit on the bike and then we can adjust the handlebars for the correct distance away from us and then tighten these bolts down. But uh, I just get them hand tight for now so it stays in place and then we'll get the seat on. To install our seat, open the seat clamp, slide the seat down the hole. You can let it go all the way. Just clamp that tight. If it needs to be a little tighter, if it's moving on you, you can adjust the tightness bolt right there after you loosen up the clamp, then pop it back down. So now we've got that. Now I'll sit on it and we'll adjust the handlebars. That's the last major component to assemble. Now let's go ahead and uh, get our seat adjusted height and our handlebar adjusted. Now to adjust the seat, loosen the clamp. And uh, I like to you know, get it adjust to your, your hip bone. I'm gonna have it low right now just so I can get on it and uh, adjust the handlebars. So, but I'll adjust it later for the exact height I want for my pedal distance. So come over the top. All right, oh man. See, I, I can sit flat footed right now and this is really, really nice. I get my bolt, my wrench I mean, get the handlebars right where I want them. Make sure they're centered up in the bracket. They are. Now all I gotta do is tighten it down. Again, it's like doing a, a, a car tire. You wanna do in, a, in like a star pattern. There's only, I know there's only four. Um, but tighten them down evenly. That way the bracket uh, doesn't pinch one side more than the other. Once you've got that tightened down, Guys, we're ready to install this battery and power this thing up and go over some of the features. Installing our batteries is easy. Just make sure you have the keys. Take your first battery and uh, the connections are here. So the connections are on the bottom of the front. I want to slide it in. Be careful. Don't mess up anything. Don't mess up your prongs. Once you get it over the, the slot, slide it back into place. Take your key and lock it. And now that battery can't be removed. Do the same thing. For this one right here, again, here's the connections. They're at the bottom. I want to be careful. I want to get it right behind the seat here. Once you get it over, you'll be able to get it lined up right there and slide it in place. Lock it down. We are ready to power this thing up for the first time. Now let's move on to the handlebar controls. Looking at the right hand controls, we see we have the rear brake lever. We have the accelerator, the throttle, down is full speed. Uh, we have our Shimano gear shifter. And this, this gear shifter is for the manual gearing of the chain. And you can see you can select over one through seven and you wanna do a quick release, boom, it'll go right back to seven by pushing the, uh, this quick release lever right there. The left hand controls, we have the front brake lever. We have this neat little uh, mechanical bell. I'm seriously guys, it's an old school bell, listen. Ding, <laughs> that's so funny. And then we have our electronic controls. The center button is the power button to power up the display. The light button, you push the light button and the front headlight and the rear tail light and brake light will illuminate. When you push on the uh, either brake, the, uh, the brake light will light up. And of course we have the information button. The information button will toggle through the information on the screen, we'll go over that. We have the plus button for up and the minus button for down. That's on your speed selection, we'll go over that. It also has special controls when you hold these buttons down. Again, we'll go over that. Turn the power on for the first time. Ooh, look at that beautiful color display right there. See it says error at the top. That's where your fault message will be if you have any errors on your control system. Right now we have no errors. You see our battery indicator. We've got a full charge on our battery. Uh, this is your speed in uh, miles per hour. We've got it set for uh, uh, English standard. And this is your speed selection. Right now we are at zero. I hit the plus button, one, two, three, four, and five. That is for the electric motor, not the Shimano uh, gear shifter chain. I hit the down button and goes to uh, go back down to zero, or I can just go all the way up and it will rotate back to zero as well. I can hit the uh, I button. The I button is going to change the odometer. I've got 4.8 miles on this thing. I've put it through some uses so you guys can uh, uh, get an honest review from me. But if I hit the I again, you'll see the trip, 4.8 miles total on the trip. We got max speed, 
average speed, and then we have the amp hour draw. I'll go back to the odometer. Uh, guys, if I hit the headlight button, the LED, 10 watt LED headlight comes on. The uh, tail light comes on. If I pull the brake in, the brake light comes on. That is so, so cool. You also see it dimmed out the screen a little bit for nighttime. Turn the headlight off, it brightens back up. Now, some really cool features. If I hold the plus button down, it is going to put it in cruise control. Boom, right down there, cruise control is selected. So whatever speed I have selected, cruise control will lock that in and I can just go cruising at that constant speed. Hold the plus button down again and that will clear. Now this, hold the negative or the minus button down, something really cool happens. It goes to walk mode. You're gonna see that display right here, a guy hold, uh, next to a bike. And if you do that, it will just slowly creep along. Now I've gotta hold the brake in here because it is going to want to uh, run off on me. So I hold that down, boom, there is walk mode. If I let go of the brake, it will take off. I'll turn that off and it is done. So guys, that is your controls in a nutshell. Well, there you have it, guys. We have a fully assembled our Genesis X30 bike by Fucare. We've gone over all the controls. We've got our tires pressurized. We've got our, both our batteries pre-charged up to 100%. We're ready to ride this bike. So follow me along and let's go have some fun on the ridge. This thing is so fun! Woo guys, that was fun! Well, there you go, guys. This is the Gemini X30 from Fucare. This thing is fast, uh, up to 32 miles an hour. I got it to 30 a while ago on the little gravel road and road out here. It is fast. I had to slow down a little bit on this gravel because it would take out from under you, that's for sure. I, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. What really sets this bike apart, again, is the two 15 amp hour batteries. Not just one 20 amp hour battery or one 13 amp hour battery, two 15 amp hour batteries by Samsung. And of course, these big fat all-terrain tires, all the, the, the cruise control features, the LED headlights, the, the, the color digital display, the Shimano gearing, this thing is the bike you want. I am very, very impressed with it. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in uh, going to Food Care yourself, checking out all their product lines. Again, this is the Gemini X30 e-bike. So guys, if you like today's video, I'll have tons more uh, content just like this product reviews and how-tos here on Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos. I'll be using this bike here on the Ridge on my main channel called Ridge Life. Go check that out. I appreciate you. You'll see me using this, uh, checking trail cameras, getting stealthily out to the tree stand, doing some whitetail deer hunting, all kinds of awesome things here on the Ridge. So check out Food Care's Gemini X30 and check out Ridge Life here on Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos and Ridge Life. So guys, until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Go Ridge Life. Woo, that was fun.